team of ISRO scientists have arrived at the Tirupati temple with a miniature model of Chandrayaan 3, which is all set to launch tomorrow. They're going to be offering prayers at the temple with that miniature model. Chandrayaan 3 is going to be launched on 14th of July, which is tomorrow at 2.35 p.m. Indian Standard Time from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. This is what ISRO has announced. A big day for India. Pramod Madhav now joins us live for the latest. Pramod, big, big day for India, India's moon mission. Uh, the countdown has truly begun for tomorrow. And what are the team of scientists up to right now? I believe they're at Tirupati offering prayers. It absolutely is, Saiti. And yes, ISRO is a body of science, but, but, but also, like every time before a uh, launch, they also respect the values of India and they go to Tirupati, get the launch blessings, and come over. And that, this is what they're doing currently as well. They're carrying a small model of the, uh, the uh, entire like uh, module that will be carried by Chandrayaan 3, inside Chandrayaan 3, GSLV, Mark 2, LV, M3. And just like you mentioned, the mission preparedness is ready. The launch board will provide uh, a permission today. And we're expecting that the countdown might start around. 1 p.m. for the day as uh, we've been told that the countdown will be for 25 hours and uh, 30 minutes and uh, everything is all set and ISRO for this time has very clearly mentioned that it will definitely achieve soft landing in the mo uh, on the mo lunar surface and very clearly India would become the fourth country to achieve this marvel. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us with the very latest details. Let's bring our viewers a detailed report now. We do know that Chandrayaan 2 was a failed mission last time around, but the team of scientists are hopeful. They are gearing up for a successful Chandrayaan 3. Uh, they finished the entire rehearsal as well of the launch uh, and now barely a day and a couple of hours left for Mission Chandrayaan 3. Here's a look at the detailed report coming in. Chandrayaan 3 is all set to be launched from Sri Harikota at 2.35 p.m. on Friday, 14th of July. And with that, India will become the fourth country to join the Ivy League of Moon Explorers. Chandrayaan-3 is largely a replica of its predecessor, Chandrayaan-2. It was launched in July 2019 in the form of an orbiter and a lander Vikram bearing a rover Pragyan. Vikram entered into orbit around the moon, but the surface mission failed in September 2019. The lander Pragyan crashed instead of executing a slow descent. ISRO later identified a problem in the guidance software and an unexpected dispersion in the propulsion system during certain phases of the descent. This time Chandrayaan-3 rocket will place the payload in an elliptical orbit around the Earth where a propulsion module will take over and pilot the lander to a circular orbit around the moon. Finally, around 23rd and 24th August, the lander will detach and begin a series of maneuvers culminating in a gradual landing over the surface of the moon. Instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan-2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3. What all can fail and how to protect it? To ensure success chances, at this stage, ISRO has strengthened the lander's legs, lowered its minimum thrust, enhanced the availability of power and upgraded the landing sequence. This will be India's second attempt to soft land a lander and rover on the lunar surface and demonstrate end-to-end -end capacity in the relevant technologies. Soft landing on the moon is a complicated exercise and possibility of failure exists. But for the time being, ISRO is hopeful for a success like its first moon mission. Bureau Report, India Today.